Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Right, um, I've got my glass and stuff. I'm going to carry on. Um, hmm. A lot of people. Oh, that is loud. Dose has been loaded. Have fun. Let's turn that down. I hear shit. I hear shit. Okay, there's one up there. Oh, we've got a diamond. Right, we need that. I'm going to do a bit of storytelling. I don't like the sounds. I hear one. Oh, okay. No. No. Oh, come on. Two, four. Two, four, what? Okay, so do. Right, uh, I was talking about my childhood, the last one. We're just doing this a simple, just a simple little house. Just so it doesn't... I might do a, a glass roof. I'm not really going to go too elaborate in here. It's just a bit of protection when I spawn in. Okay. Oh. Um. What, what was the... Uh, right, I was talking about my childhood. Um, about, actually, my, my relationship with my... Um, my parents, should I say, started to turn sour around about about seven, I think it was. Uh, when my sister was diagnosed with um, muscular dystrophy, uh, that is pretty much when everything started to go south because obviously I was a kid and I wanted my parents to spend time with me, but. I probably, looking back on that, it was probably a little bit selfish of me, but um, I wanted them to spend time with me, and it was all my sister, my sister, my sister. But um, looking back on it now, it was a little bit selfish, but I was a kid, you know. Kids want to, their parents to spend time. And I used to do everything for my sister. I mean, lift, carry, and all that, because my parents were old. I mean, my parents are like in their what middle 70s now so you're looking at when my actually left school at 16 my dad retired I mean he was like 51 so that was a big difference for me uh, I had no relationship with my my dad whatsoever um, in fact he used to take me to school and we used to sit in total silence that used to kill me at times and it wasn't for the fact that um, I didn't try, he was just a very obtuse kind of person. Um, I was a kid, <laughs> I was into porn, you know, I used to have a, oh is that all I've got? Oh shit, okay, um, I need to go and get some more, let's go and smelt some more uh, sand, we'll have to go and dig some, I think. And, oh, okay, awesome. Uh, where's sand? Um, and my dad wasn't um, a kind of dad that, oh, great. I've got sp stuff spawning everywhere. Uh, isn't the kind of person you could have a conversation with at all. Um, it was so far... Oh, let's go. Oh, penis over there. All right, we've got my sword. It just wasn't um, a person I can... Uh, you can have a conversation with. We just never was. Oh, yeah. So I was on the back porch. I used to have a porn ring at school where I used to laminate books and stuff. Like, looking back on it now, it's so horrible. Um, laminate porn books. I don't know how the hell I got hold of them, but I did. And I'm talking about I was about 13 when this was happening and I used to make a killer I used to sell it I used to basically pass them on for like 50p a time 
And I don't know how I got hold of them. I can't remember to this day how I got hold of them, but I did. Um, and I used to run like a kind of voice ring. <laughs> and I used to sell them. And my dad actually found me out. And um, he was disgusted. I mean, he probably didn't talk to me for about a year. At least a year. But I was making very good money. And he just didn't understand the fact. I don't know whether it was because my dad was old school. I mean, but there was still porn and stuff like that about then. And I'd never talked about sex to my parents. Um, in fact, I was a completely different person around my parents than I am generally. Because I, you know, I kind of put on a show. And um, it made me feel very uncomfortable. Um, until I actually showed my crew, crew crawlers and I swore and stuff like that. Because I never swore. My parents never swore. They thought it was beneath them. I guess my parents were very snobby. Um, in an obtuse kind of way, I, you know, I still love and care for my parents. I just don't like them. Um... You know, they might probably did a good job because I think I brought up quite well. I have morals and st stuff like that. But um, I think that was from me and not necessarily from them because uh, I had no relationship with my uh, my other sisters. My sister, by the time I was like an age to understand stuff, uh, my elder sister had already gone off and got married and started to have a kid. You know, so. Uh, and they were snobs. My God, were they snobs. But anyway, I'm talking in the past tense, they still are snobs. But I haven't spoken a word to them in... My God. Ooh. I was about 17, I think, the last time. I came back from army training. I was all buff. Because um, I was a skinny guy back when I was at school. Um, I was very... Um, Toned, but I was very skinny, and but I, I got muscle mass when I was in the army, and uh, for some reason they just didn't like it. And I had a little falling out with my brother-in-law because he was a bully, a very much a bully, and I, I just hate bullies. Uh, and then one day I just turned around and said, "How about you get the fuck out?" And he was like, "What? How dare you talk to me like this? I'm a I'm a manager of the company." I said, "Yeah, that might be true." I just turned around and hit him. It's probably a really mature way, but I was only like 17 at the time. I didn't know stuff like that. I'd have come up with some big, massive, long words for him that he wouldn't understand. Oh. Yeah. Holy crap. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. So that, that's basically what my, my childhood was um, kind of like right we've got this I think we've gone way too far on the talky talky stuff um, but you know that was like what my child was about I might split this up in oh yes gotcha I might split this up to a couple of parts I don't know depends how long this is going to be anything longer than like about 12 minutes just takes forever to oh to upload all right let's go let's go let's go Okay, just a little bit off camera. Right, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. right we're talking about. What are we talking about? Um, I always go off in tangents. Right, we're just doing uh, this. Um, yeah, I was talking about uh, family life and stuff like that. Um, I actually did get in contact with my second sister um, on Facebook. That tickles. As she has never met my daughter, as that's how long it's been since I actually saw her. I think it's out way over ten years since I last saw her. Um, we had a conversation and stuff, and I found out that she's got divorced and stuff like that. Oh, very, over there. very frowned upon in my family. Uh, so I thought it was quite funny. What are you on? Okay, it tickles it, I guess. Uh, so I thought it was kind of funny. Apparently he'd been cheating on her for years and years and years and years. So, yeah, yeah that's what marriage does, there. yeah. Uh, so I um, I was told 
that was going so uh, you know obviously oh oh i'm in i'm out the loop now so i don't even know what the hell's going on in my family right uh we need to get some more stuff and we had a good chat for this we're talking about about two years ago no about a year and a half ago uh, and we said we'd keep in contact blah 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 uh, I sent a countless messages on YouTube like that and she didn't even reply didn't even reply so I thought fuck it I can't be arsed with you um, I've got my own life to live if you can't be fucking arsed um, so I, I just couldn't be bothered with it anymore I had no time no time whatsoever for them what the hell's explosions going on everywhere? Uh, we need some more of this. Okay, right, it's down there. I don't like the fact there's so many fucking nasties around here. I need some food. Oh, no, no! No, no! Oh, God, I'm glad I've got this armor on. I am so glad I've got this armor. <laughs> Come on. Go! I can't even... No! Oh. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Um, so I just... I just didn't bother. It was actually... Um, the reason I actually got contacted with her because uh, Bay was ill uh, after the fur, after uh, Little Evil was born and she was in excruciating pain all the time with her stomach and... We couldn't figure out. We went to doctors and they were saying, oh, it's acid indigestion. I was like, what? Acid indigestion? Okay. That wouldn't summon up what was wrong with her. Um, and then we actually got to a, our own doctor who takes like three weeks three weeks to uh, get hold of to make an appointment. And he took one look and said, right, hospital now. Apparently she had gallstones and she was like really bad, really, really bad. Um, she was being sick, she couldn't hold any food down. Uh, and that's why I contacted it. Was, it was it was at one time twitch and go. Um, still, she's still having loads of problems now, even after she had a gallstone removed, gall bladder removed. Um, if anybody doesn't know what gallbladder is, it's basically bile and stuff and does your stomach and all that stuff. Um, and it can be quite fatal if not diagnosed properly, which it wasn't at the original time, which I was a bit a bit mad at because I had no idea. And to top it off, I also have a, a condition called hydronitis syphilitis, which is nasty, nasty, uncurable. And it is a disease. Um, basically your sweat glands uh, that can be under your armpits your groin um, where else can it be um, basically anywhere where you have a sweat, sweat gland become infected um, I've had this condition for about, about six years and it's been progressively I've had surgery to remove the areas and stuff like that uh, but I get big abscesses underneath my armpits, which are nasty. I mean, it's so painful. Um, you just can't do nothing about it. And I've been rambling and rambling and rambling. I think, I think I'm going to leave that for another another episode um, while I dig and stuff like that. Uh, I think I'm going to end this episode now because I've been rambling on for a long time. Um, at least you've been getting me to see me do stuff. I think I'm going to build something really good. Um, in the nether I think. Let me know in the comments if you want me to carry on with this storytelling. Oh no oh diamonds. Um let me know in the comments what you would like me to build next or what we'd like me to discuss next. Uh and I will do that. I find it a lot better if I uh oh, cool. Okay, that's it for now. I'll talk to you all later. Bye bye.